So what is blood pressure? God only knows. <laughs> I have been, I am supposed to be doing research on blood pressure 40 years. I have written a book on blood pressure. Now if you ask me, I don't know what blood pressure is. The real human blood vessel, how blood is flowing. Seeing this also, they say, again go and teach, flowing blood in the laminar flow, there's a lateral pressure. How many of you have heard the science of rheology? Good, good, good. It's a new branch of physics. Rheology deals with the fluid flow. And if you know rheology, you will forget Newton's laws of determining spread, it will be gravity, blah, 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 blah. You put liquid helium in a bottle, not bottle, a bowl, and keep it on a table. Liquid helium. And you will watch it. The second day, the helium starts coming up. There's a little helium at the bottom, liquid helium, it comes up. Goes up, walks up, walks up, goes to the brim, oh, it falls down. You hold liquid helium in a silicon bottle and hold it up. Leave it there. 24 hours later, this helium leaks through the silicon bottle. No holes there. Aye, sir, there's either hai, either hai. Aap ke liye rakha hai. Aye. Either, 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 either hai. Tashrif rakhe ga. Aye, either hai. We welcome all the, you know, I know the fly off. airport is so far away in Bangalore, it's inhuman because, you know, even if you land on time, it takes about an hour and a half, nearly two hours to come here. We were just talking about rheology, sir. So all the, the gravity, gravity, you know, that you mugged up for, for passing your intermediate physics or PUC physics, you should forget it now. Now in the PUC, teachers teach you something in physics. Even when I was a student, they were teaching. Laminar flow in a tube cannot produce lateral pressure because if it produces lateral pressure, it can't flow further. Cosine 90 is zero. So I mugged it up, mugged it up. Otherwise, I won't go to the medical college. Mugged it up, mugged it up, mugged it up. Went to the physiology class. Then Sarada Subramanian said, blood pressure is a lateral pressure exerted on the vessel wall by the flowing blood. <laughs> I mugged it up, I mugged it up, I mugged it up. I had forgotten what my teacher taught in physics. Now I'm saying blood pressure is the lateral pressure exerted on the vessel wall by the flowing blood. If it flows really pressure, pressure, lateral pressure, it can't flow. And if it is a laminar flow, it's okay. But it's a whirling flow. See? So what is blood pressure? God only knows. <laughs> I have been, I'm supposed to be doing research on blood pressure for 40 years. I've written a book on blood pressure. Now if you ask me, I don't know what blood pressure is. This rheology, this rheology is, the flow depends on the kind of fluid inside. You honey, you see the honey, you drop the honey, it just doesn't settle like water, it settles, there's a little peak there, and then you leave it, it settles down. That is why in America, the honey bottle dispensers are different. In our bottle, you honey, you take and then eat it and keep it, the honey goes all over the place and then ants come, this madam knows that. She was troubled by the ants. Now, this is, this is rheology. See now, this is the blood vessel, the real human blood vessel, how blood is flowing. Seeing this also, they say, again, go and teach, flowing blood in the laminar flow, there's a lateral pressure. Now, see how the flow depends only on shear stress, on systolic pressure, diastolic pressure, what have you, depends on suspensoids and colloids. Suspensoids are RBCs, WBCs, this, that, and things like that. Colloids are anions, cations, etc., etc. Of course, there are crystalloids, that's a different thing. A lot of things, and not just the... Now, we all taught Starling's laws. And do you know what Starling said? Heart is a peculiar structure. I did VV section, dissected, dissected, dissected. Did not understand how the heart functions. Now I think I'll confine myself to systole, which I can understand, and forget about diastole. He wrote that, but you teach systole is active, uh, diastole is passive, nothing happens in diastole, blood simply comes back. But Narayana Suktani, Dasha Suktani, 10,000 years ago wrote, beautifully wrote, it wrote, the heart is like a lotus blood, bud, lotus bud kept upside down, with the tip slightly to the left. And at the brute arises a huge stalk, 
which takes God's energy to all parts of the body. How true it is in physics today? It is the energy of rheology, energy of whirling that takes blood to every corner of your body, otherwise you and I will not be alive. Now we know a New York surgeon, incidentally he's an Indian, Indian-born New York surgeon, a venologist has shown that if you inject a little dye into the vein, the dye jumps from one vein valve to another vein valve. It's called venous dance. He calls it as venous dance. Jumps. And it's sucked in, sucked into the atrium. And this is called a venous dance. And eventually, it comes to the right atrium. This is now published. He has published it just last year. He has been working for 10 years. And this boy is from Bangalore Medical College. So they transplanted to a vein here. And in two months' time, the leg is normal. 